Never say these three lines in your presentation. I mean, go out, so check this out. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Hey, this is Bishal Sarkar, your practical public speaking mentor and today you are about to receive three uh, statements that you shouldn't be making uh, in your presentations. Uh, whether it's a presentation in front of senior managers or you're speaking to subordinates, you should never do that. Otherwise, people will not like you. So what are those three statements? Number one, never say, I'm nervous. A lot of people, when they are nervous, they really say that, well, I'm giving a presentation, I'm not good at it, I'm nervous. Now, the moment you say that, what's going to happen is now people are not going to listen to your presentation, they're not going to listen to your content, they're not going to see your good stuff. They're going to just think, he's nervous. Oh, he's sweating, see? He is nervous. He said he is nervous. Now, the entire framing about you becomes that you're nervous. So, that's not a good thing uh, to do. Second statement you should never say. Second statement you should never say is, you are wrong, right? Now an audience member might say, well, I think this, and if you say, but you're wrong. The moment you say that, whether he's a senior manager, like I said, or a junior, if you make the audience feel wrong, now nobody else is gonna raise their question, raise their hand for questions. Nobody else is gonna make their point because they, think, they might think, well, if I say something, um, he'll call me wrong in front of everybody because that's what he did to the last guy. I don't wanna be wrong, so I'll not say anything, I'll not engage. You don't want that, okay? So that's the second statement. The third statement you should never use in a presentation, ready? Is, any questions? Any questions, right? A lot of people do that. They are done and then in the end they say, okay, any questions? No question? Okay. Right. Well, there is a difference. You know, if you study persuasion and if you read, study any, any of the things by Robert Cialdini, Influence and Art of Persuasion, the, you know, they talk a lot about open-ended questions and closed-ended questions. So when you say any question, that's a closed-ended question, basically, which means that you're expecting a yes or no. So 50-50, any question. Expecting a yes or no. So 50-50, any question. If you really want questions from people, whether from your kids, whether from your team members, whether from your clients, don't say any questions, say, so that's all I have. Now, before we wrap up the thing, in the next five minutes, I have time for three questions. So, hey, what questions do you have? Important phrase, what questions do you have? Now, that's something you can say. So, don't say any questions. Say, what questions do you have? So, these are three things that you got to avoid. Number one, don't say, I'm nervous. Number two, don't say, you're wrong. And don't say that, any questions, right? Don't say that. Anyways, I hope you're having an amazing time, having a great time in Goa. Uh, just had some, some great breakfast right now. Yeah, it's hot in here, man. And, you know, a lot of beautiful things to see here. Uh, and, and I hope that uh, uh, someday we get to meet. And, uh, you know, if you are interested in coming to the Confident Speaker Conference, if you already have book ticket, awesome. Um, I was having a conversation with the members of the Balanced Life Mastermind um, day before yesterday before coming to Goa. And we were, you know, I was teaching them something about uh, influence and persuasion and how to persuade yourself to have a big life but it's amazing man I hope you're having an amazing time Vishal Sarkar here always reminding you that confidence is not about perfection it's all about connection I'm a man on a